Be me. NCR trip. This one guy apparently did hot shit for the NCR a few times, so he gets to call us up on his radio if he needs help. Get sent over to help him. Find this guy. Some courier in a vault suit. Randy looking bastard with a million mile blank stare on his face at all times. He has this creepy flying robot and some guy in a lab coat with him. Anyway, rush over to his location and there's a bunch of legion attacking him. Oh shit, dot JPEG. I try to help out and the guy starts hopping away from the fight like a little bitch. Then I swear to god this guy pulls his giant gun and a mini nuke right out of his ass. He fires it at the legion. I'm caught in the blast and get severe radiation poisoning. Thanks, asshole. The legion soldiers are dead. A few of them exploded and do a million pieces. This randy bastard starts hopping towards the carnage. Starts looking at one piece of flesh in the ground as if he's going to find something. Somehow manages to grab throwing spears, healing powder, bullets, etc. from what could be a piece of ass in the ground. Suddenly this guy starts walking real slow towards the robot. He somehow shoves an entire throwing spear inside a machine no bigger than a human head. He hops away while his companions chase after him. Just when you think you've seen everything. B19. Enlist in NCR because that's what my dad did. I'm proud of you, son. Bullshit, I hate doing this shitty job. Nothing to do, just wander around outside. I'd rather be at home playing on my PC. See figure in distance. It's the courier. Oh shit, dot JPEG. He fucking kills everything in his path. Stuff of legends. Rumoured to be able to stop time. Feeling scorching desert heat. He approaches. Sweat dripping down my forehead. It's so fucking hot, dot moth. Start to say something. Don't want to fuck this up. Oh god, the fucking heat. Say first thing that pops into my head. Can't fuck this up or I'm dead, mate. Spaghetti falling out of my pocket. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. My face went. Be me. Be working at a casino. Shitty job, noisy, crowded, place smells like shit. Don't even work cards, just work cashier. Normal day. Then this fucking guy and his girl walks in. Did I say walk? I meant skip. Seriously. This fucking guy must be crazy autistic or something, he keeps hopping. He's wearing a tattered suit. Looks stained with piss, mud and honestly could be blood. Weirdest thing is, his clothes are shitty but his watch looks like it cost a few thousand at least. It's a vintage from 77 I think. His girl is cute as fuck. Redhead with a bit of a country thing going on. No idea why they're together. Floor manager taps me on the shoulder and tells me this guy's a friend of the house. Says I need to give him whatever he wants. He looks at me with this dead expression. I cannot exaggerate this guy's fucking face. There was no emotion, just frozenness. His eyes are glazed over. He stinks worse than this place does. Drug addict for sure. Stammerite. Can I help you? He asks me a bunch of bullshit questions about my life. Who I am etc, why I work here. After humouring him for a while, he leaves. Goes up to my boss. Starts talking with him. Can't hear what about. They go upstairs. Thank fuck that's over. About 20 minutes later, that fucking guy walks back into the lobby. He's wearing my boss's <laughs> coat, covered in blood. Holy shit, did I just become an accessory to murder? He comes up. Spaghetti and shit now coming out of my pants. He wants to turn in 250 chips. I didn't even give him any, so I'm shaking like crazy. Pay him out like he asked. He hops out of the casino, turns on the radio. Mr. New Vegas reports that Benny's been killed. I don't think this wastelander is even human. Some seriously weird logic defying shit goes down around him. Be stationed at Ranger Station. Fucking veteran ranger strutting around rubbing his rank in our faces. Why the fuck are military personnel wearing jeans and cowboy boots as a uniform anyway? Ranger walking up to me. Hey soldier. Think I heard something up in that cliff. Go check it out. Begrudgingly go. Ain't nothing up here. Hell, the ranger probably didn't even hear anything. He just wanted to mess with me. Notice some movement around the camp. Whip out binoculars and take a look. There's that fucking wastelander tossing like 80 fucking bricks of C4 all around the camp. No one's doing shit about it. Wastelander runs off. About a minute later, entire fucking camp gets obliterated. Wastelander runs back as if he's looking for something. Suddenly he picks up an eyeball, only thing left of the ranger, before my very fucking eyes. He cuts the eye open and pulls out an entire veteran ranger uniform, and one of those engraved ranger revolvers out of it. I've been in mandatory therapy for months now because of this shit. 
I fucking swear, he pulled a uniform and a revolver out of an eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Be minding my own business, jacking off in Saloon to some jazz and tunes. Can't work because Deathclaws are still having an orgy in the quarry. Would call in for NCR to clear them out, but my spoiled bitch can daughter is in the quarry too. And I'm hoping they'll eviscerate her and her drugged up fuck buddies. Been on jet, all morning, about to start round two when I see a goddamn waster walking down the highway towards the quarry. Dressed in what I think used to be a fancy black suit, but has now several strips of stained with blood. Holy balls, so much blood. This guy has more bullet holes covering him than skin. He's leaving a waterfall of blood behind him. My god. As I watch the guy, he takes out five needles of morphine and stabs into his arm for half a second before throwing them aside. Discarded stem pack gets thrown at my pet snuffles and goes right through his leg. Asshole waster walks up to me. Says his name is... Schmuggins? McGee. Schmuggins McGee. <laughs> Being as fucked up as I am right now, I say something about the death claws down the road. Guy immediately offers to kill all of the death claws. Keep in mind, Guy has nothing but the tattered remains of a suit and a motorcycle helmet with more dents in it than the moon. Dickhead is armed with nothing but a pair of yellow boxing gloves. About to tell him to fuck off when I look him in the eye. Fag bad guy's got that 20,000 mile stare, slight grin on his face and several high caliber bullet wounds in his forehead. Tell the shipbird he's got the making of a hero and send the asshole off to get fucked up the rectum by a foreskin lizard. <laughs> for at least six hours, don't hear a thing, except for normal orgy sounds from the penis geckos in the quarry and the occasional moan from Snuffles as he gets high off those used needles. At 7pm I hear this great roaring, not the usual lizard orgasm roaring but like death pain roaring. Everybody in Sloan stops what they're doing. Suddenly, over the crest of the hill, we see him. Schmoggins McGee. <laughs> The fucker, who looks like he has both of his arms dislocated and literally missing an entire left leg, and appears to be hopped up on so much psycho that his eyelids have burst off, is hopping on his remaining leg up the hill, now entirely naked as his clothing has all been ripped off, carrying the body of the alpha male with his teeth. Oh, what the fuck? He walks into town, drops the body on the floor, and says he got rid of the death claws. I'm about to talk when he also tells me he healed Snuffle's leg and says it like it was some kind of service. I let that slide because I want this naked gore fest out of my sight as soon as possible. I give him 15 caps if he leaves. Alpha Deathclaw Meal wakes up and ass rips everybody in time. Schmuggins had KO'd it with his golden gloves. <laughs> be me. Be 26. Be former military. Be following this mailman who helped me out. Be checking out some old shitty ruins with him. Suddenly, knockout gas. Oh shit, dot JPEG. Wake up, god knows how long later. Mailman's nowhere to be found. Look for a few hours. Find nothing. Decide to go back home. A few days later, he comes back. He's giddy as fuck. Also has some new scars. We go to a gun store. He buys an anti-material rifle, a carbine, and a fuck ton of ammo. He pays for this shit with two gold bars. Solid gold bars. Next thing I know, we're headed someplace else. He asks me if I want to avenge my wife. Hell yeah, dot JPEG. We get on a boat. The mailman says he forgot medical supplies. He shrugs. I look at the map. We're going right into the Legion Fort. What the shit, dot PNG. He hops off the boat. Gate guards look at him confused. He fucking wastes one of them on the spot. Freak out, dot EXA. Take out a new rifle and shoot at another guard. His entire chest explodes. More guards are running at us with machetes. Take one down, but the gun's too slow. The mailman puts away the carbine and takes out an oversized revolver. Suddenly, he gets this blank look on his face. Then he fires six consecutive headshots and starts reloading. One of the guards slashes him across the hand. He doesn't even flinch. The guard slashes him a second time, then he shoots him in the face. Keep heading up towards the top of the fort. Waste anybody that comes near us. Finally, at the command tent, everyone outside it is dead or dying. He proceeds to take more drugs than I've ever seen. We storm the tent. Mailman gets that blank look again and raises his revolver. Guards punching him in the head. Doesn't flinch. Starts shooting. See him. Caesar. The source of all my troubles. Revenge.exe. He's running at me. Explodes his head. Everyone is dead. 
Mailman walks up to a piece of brain, pulls out some coins, asks me to wait here, goodbye, leaves. My face went. <laughs> <laughs> Be raider out in wasteland. Do nothing but shoot drugs and stand around. One day, while poking a dead animal with my pull cue, I hear shit back in camp. Poor babbly. Poor babbly. Poor babbly, just some rats or some shit. Go and check. Oh fuck, dot JPEG. It's the fucking mailman. Heard about this guy on the radio. He can literally pause time and punch you in the face so hard you explode. Friends throw everything they have at him, taking multiple shots in the head, arms and torso like it's nothing. Violently exploding my friends with his fists. Looks through my inventory while Guy is plowing through my friends. Remember the hand grenade I've hidden my ass for emergencies. Hearing body parts landing around me and friends fighting for their lives. Have grenade in my hand and getting ready to throw. Guy has smeared the camp with all my friends and now looks at me. Pull pin and throw. It bounces on the ground and literally explodes right in front of Guy's head. He shrugs it off and jumps towards me with the fury of a thousand bulls. Grab my pull cue. Ask if he likes the sight of his own blood. He gets closer. My face went. <laughs> Be NPC and Prim. See some guy come into town. Heard of this faggot on the radio called the mailman or some stupid shit. Always jogging, never just walks. Always in perfect synchronous. Arms come up and down the exact same amount every time. Must be a cardio fag. <laughs> <laughs> Has some floating metallic eyeball following him that never just altitude. See him jog up to the dinosaur statue in our town. Comes out a little later. Goes to the front desk of the local hotel. Comes out with the manager following him a little while later. Sweet lady. Take her to the front of the statue. They stand there for a minute as he takes off his backpack. Rifles, pistols, food and dynamite start flying out the moment he unbuckles it. How did he keep all that shit in there? Finds what he was looking for apparently. Puts on a red beret. All the shit that was in his backpack rematerializes back into it. This is where shit gets weird. The hotel manager's head is a fucking paste a couple of seconds later. What the fuck, dot JPEG. Mailman strips her down to her underwear, stuffs her brain stained clothes in his backpack, jogs back to the statue, goes inside, comes back out a little while later with the sniper that guards our town following him. I still don't understand what the fuck is going on. He sees me, starts jogging towards me, oh my god, <laughs> my heart, oh Jesus. <laughs> Right before he reaches me, he jumps six feet in the air and freezes like he's about to judo kick me. The force of gravity are on his side. Starts talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Completely losing my spaghetti by this point. Start acting retarded. Act like I was stung by a rad scorpion in the brain. First thing I thought of, maybe he thinks I'm an idiot, he won't hurt me. I have some more questions, he says. Okay, goodbye. Tell him to watch out for communists. He returns to Earth and jogs away. I need, <laughs> I need to get out of this fucking desert. <laughs> <laughs> Be me. Easy Pete. Stack some of my dynamite in a secret place for emergencies. Hunk of junk computer drags a dead courier into Dr. Michael's house. A few days later, a courier walks out of Doc's house, fit as a fiddle, jumping on fences and looking in people's mailboxes. Runs around town like he knows everybody and starts a mob to help Ringo kill the par gang bangers. Asks me for my dynamite. Hell no, you can't have my sticks. Skims a magazine in front of me, showing his city folk manners haven't been forgotten. Asks me for my boomsticks again. <laughs> well, shit, sure, pal. Fucking city folk. <laughs> <laughs> At McCarn. On KP duty because LOL sexist comment. Random guy walks in with ranger armor. Has a sequoia. Takes off helmet. Where's the recruiting desk? I'd like to sign up. Buys all our beer and Salisbury steak. Pays in Legion coins. That was a weird day. Get ordered to help some guy who radioed in for help. Sprint there as fast as I can with my squad. It's that fucking guy again. Surrounded by like 15 death claws. We take pot shots at them. He decapitates every single one of them with a fire axe. What the fuck? Possibly related story. Be protecting that highway back to California. Guy in ranger armor arrives. Talks to drunk redhead bitch. Takes her with him on some quest. Buys all our spare ammo. Tells us the Legion is prepping an assault from the east and that a freehold settlement was completely raised. Prepared a few of our items and sold it back to us for double the price. <laughs> Who the fuck is this asshole? Be stationed at Helios 1. 
Some jackass in a business suit is hopping down the road like a retard. He gets ambushed by legion assassins. Look at all the fucks we give. It's not like our service rifles can do anything to their bulletproof Mardi Gras mask anyway. He manages to kill a couple, but then appears to have run out of ammo and starts running towards us. We collectively shit our pants, not knowing what else to do. The LOL female lieutenant tells everyone, including the fucking dog, to charge face first into the assassins with a super sledge. I, meanwhile, get trapped in a fucking hill and can't do anything but take pop shots at a guy throwing spears at the dirt in front of me. Meanwhile, everyone else dies. He finally gets his shit together and takes one of their brush guns and kills them all. Not knowing what else to do, I stand half buried in the hill for a few days until reinforcements dig me out. True story. B guy that does money checks for the gun runner seller bot. The other day I see over 160k of caps used in a single transaction. What the fuck? Recheck money. It's right. He bought literally every new gun we made in a single transaction, along with all the ammo and parts. Who the fuck is this guy? Waiting to assault the legion controlled Camp Nelson. Lieutenant comes running up with some guy I've never seen before. Everyone is getting ready. Suddenly, the stranger starts taking more drugs than I have ever seen in my life, all while keeping a completely blank stare on his face. Stranger takes point and charges directly into camp with what appears to be a varmint hunting rifle. He is getting shot multiple times all over his body. He keeps taking drugs and blasting legionnaires. After all the dust settles, we walk up to him. Not a wound on him. Not even blood. He collects his pay, loots the entire camp and leaves. I have seen God. And he is a drug addict in a vault suit. <laughs> Well, you guys had asked for it uh, with that Skyrim video we did last week. And, you know, you did ask it in the comments for Fallout, but it had to be New Vegas. Like, you know, yeah, there's else... And there's so many, so many green texts on Fallout. So if you want a part two, we can do, do a part, part two. two. Or <laughs> next time we do Oblivion, which I will personally be... Yes! I fucking love Oblivion! So I would be very much in favour of that. But look, we'll let you decide. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. And if you've got any, like, you know funny fallout stories or like you know any stories like this let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next video bye All done.